Hello, welcome to Lime War. I'm John Joe. We have a bit of a weird game today. So, we've got a 3v3. Alpha team are starting up here, and two players down here. And on Bravo team, we have two players spreading out a bit further. So, nickname is right in the center, split between two enemies right at the beginning of this game. But, on the bright side, we have Green, who is Alpha over here, who can go straight for Snow. As Nickname prepares to dig in, and I think he's going to retreat. He hasn't built anything just yet. And that's probably because he needs to try and find a new location. However, he's about to find a new enemy instead. So, where are Nickname's al uh, allies? One is down here, as we said earlier. The other one is all the way over here. So, he's got free range over here. This is Mad Max. He's got the ability to push all the way into the side. He can see what's going on over here. And if he does not save his ally... This game's going to be very difficult for him. So we are getting a large amount of infantry. Five barracks over here and three barracks along with three factories total. And Nickname's finally built a structure. It's a factory over here and he's trying to retreat. He has found Viking at this point. He's sending off some units up into the north, into that section, hoping to claim some territory just to try and rescue himself. But at the same time, Kartoffelman has seen a structure and he's going straight for it. Being defended by at least one artillery unit, so that's good. If Nickname hadn't built a structure though, they would have to capture all of his territories to kick him out. Building a structure puts him in danger of having one structure be destroyed, but he's placed another one up here now to save himself. And there is a tank trying to sneak round and is seriously messing with snow. I mean, if snow has so many units, it's being distracted by one tank. It's making these units not pressure Nickname. And I think they both end up switching their strategies here. Nickname's been pushed back, so he's at a disadvantage now. He's got to find new lands right at the beginning of the game. But now that leaves Alpha trapped in the corner between these two players. So he's going to send most of his forces that way just as he expands this way, thinking it's relatively safe. Actually, no, he has spotted the enemy, I think. Or at least Mad Max knows of Kartoffelman there. But these tanks are tearing up Snow's base. Despite the amount of forces here. Alpha's doing a really good job at distracting and just taking out whatever he can. He's exploiting any weakness he can find. He did leave his tanks here for a little too long. But most of the units are coming this way and these tanks are pushing in. Helicopters are now coming in and there is absolutely no anti-air. But with the amount of infantry these guys are producing, it probably won't matter too much if they can just pressure together. But I don't think that's actually going to be too easy. It's going to be easier said than done. Because Red is now going this way. Trying to push against Mad Max. And Nickname has found a location to build in over here and here. And both of which are much easier places to defend. But having two locations really is going to keep him in this game. Still keeping this barracks. I'm surprised he's not using commandos here. Just trying to sneak around right at the enemy's base. Down in the south here though. This energy well and this these energy units are doing a really good job. It looks like he's turned it off though. So I'm assuming Alpha is also struggling with cash. Very much so. So he can't even produce at the rate he's got the amount of production structures for. He does have the ability to expand backwards. I didn't see that. And he has a city here. So if he can defend this location he could end up pushing with quite a considerable force he is actually being attacked by all three players here because viking has come down into the south to join forces with that group to really try and put pressure on alpha and if alpha can defend this this is absolutely amazing but snow is now pretty much on his own they've got a small defense force that awfulman is now focused entirely pretty much on mad max mad max has some strikers now with enough energy and a fair amount of barracks and is building up their eco whilst also being defended by Nickname. I can only assume that even though Nickname is an absolutely amazing player he hasn't got a lot of cash to work with. He's got a lot more production structures because he's lost a lot of territories so he might not be able to keep up with this push for very long unless he can really push and gain these territories back. Down in the south Alpha is pushing once again sneaking some tanks around by the looks of it, taking out some structures around 
there's no space and one tank is trying to move forward getting into any building and it might even be wise to just push this one anywhere else the only problem is though with alpha having somewhere to expand to viking is also expanding downwards to that location so he's going to be trapped on both sides soon but red is sending in some more units that way to try and help put pressure on him once again we've got the commanders going to come in from the south to sneak around there over on the mountains here it looks like mad max is on a bit of a retreat he's digging in whilst being attacked which is not something i would suggest you want to be in a good position before you dig in but at the same time i suppose it's easier to go around defenses when they sort of like that so i don't know they just take extra damage from fatigue when they start building these structures but as red puts pressure on mad max nickname is pushing through he spotted this town he's going to try and take that out while he can and up in the north nickname is creating quite a sizable force and is spreading out across the land taking territory away from yellow which is going to reduce the income that they have to use but is also allowing green to focus snow a bit more because the yellow can't send in as many units it looks like the attack down here was sent but was also taken out by probably quite a bunch of tanks over here and i think alpha is struggling on energy or at least production it is going down quite significantly he's got quite a large energy based army over here nickname has been stopped for taking out that town and cut off him and is actually pushing quite heavily against max he's doing that quite well there trying to take on two enemies but i feel like nickname is actually growing in power in the north and those helicopters are going to take out some production structures and any takeout on one of those reduces the amount you have to deal with in the future so he is slowly picking them off one by one snow has decided to quit the game which is really surprising considering how much of an advantage alpha team had kartokman has also given up and i think that this game was basically literally trying to survive the bravo team at the beginning of this game this leaves viking in on his own to try and take on the rest of the game but that was actually a really awesome game to watch so nickname was just determined not to die and this guy played it so well against snow while red decided that he could handle it and just left try and take on the other guy admittedly you don't want him to build up he's got a whole city there to deal with so it isn't like he just left him it was a decided decision um but i do think they should have really tried to focus down the green player in the corner they had a really good opportunity to try and take him out together while nickname was recovering and max was trying to push and i think that was the main issue on that game but at the same time alpha was doing a really good job at going around those infantry Anyway, let me know what you guys think. And there are two videos on screen right now. Feel free to click on one and I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.